For the uh, back flap, you can either lace it with the Florentine lace or you can stitch it. Uh, I prefer, in this case, to do it with the Florentine lace because I think it will look nicer. Either way is fine. Please note uh, on the back flap I have started lacing at the bottom and I'll lace all the way around and come back to where I started. The reason I started here is because it's a good place to end where it will not be visible. After we have laced all around the back flap and went through the last hole, we'll turn it over and then we'll take the tail from the one we started with and with our needle we'll go over that tail and underneath several of the loops here and then we'll come out and pull it up snug cut it off with our shears Now if you want, you can cut this off short and glue it down. It's uh, now time to do the final assembly. And we're going to do that with uh, one half inch Chicago screws or screw posts. And uh, we're going to do that. And we're going to start first with the hold down strap. Now we will go through one of the four holes as you can see there, now I'll go through one of the holes here on the upper rows. I'll turn it over and line up the back part of the flap. And then we will take a, the screw part and we will screw that together. and we will make it nice and tight. Now we might do the other screws first and then after they're all four are in place, then we'll come back and tighten up the screws. We'll take the next one and do the same thing. Turn it over, line it up, and put the screw in place. Now with those first two screws, we did three thicknesses of leather. Uh, the back flap, the main body, and the hold down strap. Now for the next two, all we'll need to do is go through the two thicknesses. Now, there are two ways you can do that. I prefer to take the different size screw post and do the smaller one and go through and then put on the screw. So we'll use the half inch for the three layers and the three eighth for the double layer. And we'll do the same thing now with the last screw.
We will now lace the two ends of the hold down strap together. We'll use the Florentine and we'll leave about six inches of lace uh, from the 18 inches that we started with and we'll do a crisscross stitch. or any kind of a stitch you want. This is not only to hold it, but it'll be decorative as well. And now we will just tie a knot in here and let these ends hang down. When you're not uh, using the, the gun or the holster, it's a good idea to put a safety loop on here that you can hook onto the hammer of the gun when it's not in use. And then you can remove it when you're not using it. The final step to making this holster is to add a hoedown strap or string, whatever you want to call it, through those two holes in the back flap, pull it up, and it's ready to go.